This is the news on top of the hour. Live from our studio in Georgetown. Kiteshire Radio, 99.1 FM. Good morning and welcome to this morning's newscast right here on Kiteshire Radio. I am Kevin Smith. Let's get to the news in detail. If Guyana wants to ensure there is early consideration of local content, then it would be wise to request that oil companies embed opportunities for maximum use of indigenous goods and services, as well as the training and hiring of Guyanese in their field development plans. Making this assertion recently was Dr. Valerie Marcel, an associate fellow of Chatham House for its Energy, Environment and Resources program. Dr. Marcel made the foregoing comment in relation to questions premised on a Chatham House policy paper. That document notes that integrating local content objectives into procurement and engineering strategies for the company's field development plans can significantly increase the impact of efforts to benefit the local economy. During discussions on this recommendation, Dr. Marcel acknowledged that indeed it is critical that could be used to maximize local content policy. In all the news, Surgical Associates Guyana has introduced laser treatment of kidney stones at the St. Joseph Mercy Hospital. According to a press release, the first case of a kidney stone treated with a laser in Guyana was that of a 34-year-old female with a 1.1 cm stone in the kidney. The patient was successfully treated last Thursday at the St. Joseph Mercy Hospital and was discharged within hours of the procedure. According to a release, the St. Joseph Mercy Hospital is currently the first and only hospital in the country with the equipment and expertise to offer this modern method of treatment. In other news, police are trying to ascertain the identity of a pedal cyclist who is presently at the Georgetown Public Hospital in a critical condition. The pedal cyclist was rushed to the hospital following an accident along Mandela Avenue in Georgetown at around 22 hours 15 last Saturday. The cyclist, according to reports, collided with a motor car which was being driven by an officer attached to the GDF. The officer, it was revealed, picked up the man in an unconscious state, placed him in his car, and drove him to the GPHC, where he was admitted. Let's tell you now that a 28-year-old Venezuelan cook was on Sunday last found murdered in a mining pit at Big Ho Bat Dam, Cuyuni, Region 7. The woman was identified as Dima Emilia Lazima Fermin, of San Felix, Ciudad Gana, Estado, Bolivar. According to investigators, all of their findings so far indicate that Lezima was beaten and probably raped prior to her death. Police have since detained two suspects who might be responsible for her demise. Those suspects were identified as Dredge owner with whom Lezima reportedly shared a personal relationship and one of his employees. And moving on, on the 28th anniversary of the return of Guyana's democracy, ANUG has reminded the new administration of their commitment to constitutional reform and shared governance. ANUG wrote of the 28th anniversary after rigged elections in 1968, 1972, 1980, and 1985 and the rigged referendum in 1978. It reminded that the PPPC won the elections on October 5th, 1992, promising shared governance or a winner-does-not-take-all system of government. However, the PPPC reminded that should be the PPPC remained in office for 23 years amidst an quote-unquote unstable political system punctuated by periodic violence and with economic growth unreflective of Guyana's potential. Let's tell you now that one of the victims ambushed in what is being called a mystery shooting that occurred on September 29th has died. The victim, according to reports, died yesterday at the Sadi Public Hospital. The shooting incident occurred at a hotel and bar establishment in Aurora Village, Essequibo Coast. According to police reports, 20-year-old Riaz Khan of Pomona Housing Scheme succumbed just after midnight while being treated for gunshot wounds he had received to the face. 
Tan and his friend, 25-year-old Cordo Grime, came under gunfire at around 19 hours 30 on the evening of September 29th as they exited the business establishment. Grimes, who was also hospitalized, has reportedly been discharged. Residents of Aurora said that there are no CCTV cameras at the hotel or places nearby to assist detectives with their investigation. And moving on, new acting chief medical officer Dr. Narayan Singh is bringing more than three decades of institutional knowledge of Guyana's healthcare system. Dr. Singh asserted that coming to the office of CMO in the middle of a pandemic is already challenging. But what makes matters worse is the fact that Guyana's COVID-19 numbers continue to climb. In his capacity as CMO, Dr. Singh will be among the key personnel dealing with the oversight of systems and plans geared at addressing the ongoing COVID-19 health crisis. As such, he said that he believes that citizens' greatest challenge to stopping the spread of the disease is changing their behavior. He noted that the Ministry of Health and Healthcare workers are playing their part, but it's up to the public to adhere to the rules or we will keep seeing the numbers climb. Guyana yesterday recorded a new COVID-19 death, bringing the total death toll to 91. The death was announced by the Ministry of Health, who also stated that the deceased is a 38-year-old male from Region 4. Also, 95 new COVID-19 cases were recorded, taking the total number of confirmed cases to 3,188. And that brings us to the end of this morning's newscast. I am Kevin Smith. Thank you for listening. Kaichur Radio. Covering Guyana from coast to coast. Demerara and Essequibo 99.1 FM. Burbies 99.5 FM. Kaichur Radio. INET Communications offers satellite solutions that meet the internet needs of all Guyanese. Using our unlimited internet bandwidth, you can now download, talk, and text from remote locations around Guyana. With this new unlimited service, you can now do more. Call us on 225-4657 or 225-3364 or 223-7438 or visit us at 210 Camp and New Market Street, Georgetown for a demonstration. 